Hey guys, today I'm doing another Halloween makeup tutorial. This will either be my last one or I might have a last minute one going up on Monday. Definitely leave a comment down below or give me a thumbs up so I know to do this video on Monday for a last minute fun makeup look for Halloween. I kind of looked back at all my Halloween tutorials this year and I saw a basic theme which was red. So why not conclude, or maybe not if I do the one on Monday, conclude this Halloween series by doing another creepy red look a glam zombie girl with a torn up mouth. She's missing a couple of teeth. She's bloody. She's still glam. She got her lashes on. She cried with blood because she died. It's just a very fun look and I had so much fun creating it for you guys. I was inspired by Jordan Hans, the queen of Halloween for me. She did 31 days of Halloween. She'd uploaded a look, like a strong look every day for the month of October and I think what she did was insane and I was so inspired by her art. So with her tips and tricks, I came up with this look and I love Jordan so much. So go ahead and subscribe to her channel. She's so talented, you will not regret it. Um, but yeah, but other than that, I'm gonna be this zombie glam girl and if you wanna know how I did it, then keep on watching. Alrighty, so the first thing I'm gonna do is map out where I want my zombie, Z zombie, zombie, zombie. First I'm gonna map out where I want my zombie mouth torn up mouth um, to go to. So what I want it to look like basically. For this I'm using an eye rub pencil. You can use whatever you want. You can use a eye coal. You can, you can use whatever you want. So I want to keep it quite close to the mouth but a little bit more torn up and, and shredded. And the best thing about this is when you don't like the shape you can just wipe it away and do it again. Sort of like that. All right, now I'm gonna go in with foundation and I'm gonna make myself look paler, if that is even possible. I'm gonna make myself look paler than I already am to make myself look a little bit more deadly and sickly and we have a torn up zombie mouth. We, we, we're not doing all that great. So what I'm gonna be using for that is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick in 117 and really, really lightening it using the Krylon TV Paint Stick in double zero. and try not to touch your sketch too much, but if you do end up going over top of it, you can always go back in with a pencil later. And now it is important to set this all with powder and then we can rock this all night long. Now what I'm gonna do is do my eye makeup off camera. This will be my normal glam self and we have a lot of tutorials this year that went up that feature my glam eyes. So I'm gonna do that off camera to save time and then we'll go to the fun part. I'm gonna use water activated paint for this. This is the Mayron Paradise palette. It comes with, uh, I believe, 30 colors. So the first thing I'm gonna do is draw out my teeth using white and just a little tiny bit of yellow. And as you get further to the back of this mouthpiece, you do want the teeth to become smaller because of course, the further away you go, the smaller the teeth get. I'm gonna fill up the rest of the mouth using a dark red. And with this, you're gonna create the gums. And with this, you can also shape the teeth a little bit nicer. Now right underneath the teeth, I'm gonna fill that up with red and follow with black. And 
Here's a little trick for if you feel like you totally messed up one tooth, just remove it. You're a zombie, you don't need all your teeth. So that's what I did because I totally messed that one up. See how I'm really shaping and perfecting the teeth with the black? That is sort of like your eraser and to fix everything up. Now with a black shadow, I'm adding depth right up against the line of the mouth. Now I'm gonna go in with Makeup Geek's Mocha to define the teeth, and the further you go back into your mouth, the more shadow the teeth get. And now with white, I'm gonna be highlighting the teeth as well as the mouth to make it look wet and gross. Now, of course, we want to create shadow around the mouth as if it looks torn open and like a hot damn mess. So that is exactly what I'm going to be doing using Mocha Eyeshadow by Makeup Geek. I'm gonna go into the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills and taking Venetian Red. And with this, I'm kind of gonna add redness and stress around my mouth. I'm gonna be contouring using Faux Fur by Makeup Geek, and I want a really fallen in skull-like feature, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna come up from here, and then go up like this, and kind of follow along here. Same on the other side. And the temples, of course. Deepening this using a little bit of mocha again. I swear this color, Jordan Hans. Ooh, this color because of you, people know what to use to look effectively dead. <laughs> All right, quickly, because we'll be adding more blood towards the end, I think it will be fun to tie in one eye with all this bloody mess by doing a bloody tear coming from the eye. Like she cried blood before she really went there. So I'm going back in with my red face paint and a small little eyeliner brush and I draw in a bloody tear. And then we're highlighting using white again. And a tiny bit of shadow using mocha. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my Mayron Coagulated Blood, splatter it around the mouth, and this look should be done. And 
And that guys concludes this zombie torn up mouth glam girl makeup tutorial for Halloween. I hope you enjoyed. For a full list of every single product mentioned and used, go to my description box below or nakedtutorials.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. That all is Nikki Tutorials. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up to share with all your friends and subscribe to my channel. If you end up recreating this look for Halloween tonight or tomorrow or even on Monday, please show me your looks on Instagram and Twitter so I can share it with my followers. And yeah, other than that, I hope you enjoyed. Happy Halloween, and hopefully I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>